Let's talk about the eight reasons why you may experience a nosebleed. Now, just because you start bleeding from your nose doesn't automatically mean that it's cancer. This is very, very rare. The most common type of cancer that causes a nosebleed would be the squamous cell carcinoma. Let's go to the more common things. Low vitamin K1. Vitamin K1 has to do with clotting, stopping you from bleeding. Where do you get vitamin K1? These things called vegetables. Okay, let's say you have no vegetables in your diet, you could be deficient in K1. Number two, liver damage. In the liver, you have all these different clotting factors. So if there's damage like cirrhosis or maybe a fatty liver, you might not have the function to help you with those clotting factors. Uh, low amounts of bile. Bile is produced by the liver. It's stored in the gallbladder. It helps you to break down fats in your diet and help extract the fat soluble vitamins. And guess what? Vitamin K1 is one of them. So if you don't have enough bile, let's say you don't have the gallbladder or you have some type of problem where you don't have enough bile, um, that could be a cause. Or if you're on the medication warfarin, which is Coumadin. This is a blood thinner that is used to prevent um, clots. A lot of times, if someone has um, atrial fibrillation, they are taking this to thin the blood to prevent a stroke. But the function of this is to block vitamin K1. It's the same chemical in a certain rat poison, which basically causes the rat to bleed internally and die. However, when you're taking this, you're not taking large amounts to create that same effect. Okay, number two, sinus irritation from either an allergy or some type of virus or infection. Um, this is very, very common. It's gonna create an irritation on the mucous membranes and that can create a little bleeding. Number three, high blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure and you have at the same time some fragile capillaries in your sinuses, that can create a nosebleed. Now, number four, liver disease. I already talked about that, but that controls the clotting factors. But if the liver is damaged, you're usually gonna have low platelets. And platelets are those things in your blood that helps you clot. So one cause of lower amounts of platelets would be if you had le leukemia, which is a uh, cancer of the blood, or anemia, or a decrease in vitamin B12, or iron, or folate, or you have Epstein-Barr virus or some other virus that can cause low platelets as well. Or let's say you're on chemotherapy or you have liver cirrhosis. Those are some things that can cause decreased platelets. Number five, over-the-counter medications like aspirin and Tylenol, that will definitely thin your blood. Number six, cocaine. Number seven, sulfite-based preservatives. They put sulfites in a lot of different foods. I put a link down below uh, on a video on sulfites, but it's in wine, it's in dried fruit. It's used as a preservative. And sulfites can irritate the sinuses and create nosebleeds. And number eight, lastly, I already mentioned this, but cancer, but again, this is very, very rare. So if you have a nosebleed, kind of scan down to find out which one of these uh, is responsible for it. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.